After you have a light Vegas. Yeah, I know. It's kind of All right. Ridiculous. Here we go. Here we go. Round. This is round three. Match number two of Coolest Chemist. We're left with. Over on the left side, Ruben Turchik is defending John Dalton on the right side. Michael Hyatt is defending Fritz Haber. Nice. It's, uh, it's the Englishman versus the German. To start us off, two minutes presentation on John Dalton, Ruben Turchik. Your time starts now. Okay, so John Dalton, uh, the two main things he was known for is the de development of the modern atomic theory and his research into Daltonism which they named after him, which uh, the common note word for it is colorblindness. So uh, at the age of 28 is when he first published his uh, first article about colorblindism. And like he, he was colorblind also, so like he knew firsthand how it was like and stuff. But the main thing he did was um, atomic theory and uh, pretty much everything we know right now about it, he like helped contribute to that. So elements are made of the exactly the same articles uh, in atoms so if like an atom all the same kind of atom, atoms of the uh, element are like will be the same size and identical pretty much and if uh, let's say we have hydrogen and helium they will have different kinds of atoms and uh, atoms cannot be subdivided created or destroyed so that's what he pretty much did that's it that's it all right Woo! Oh. One minute and ninety seconds. John Dalton's time is over. Fritz Haber, you have two minutes, and it starts now. So Fritz Haber, German, graduated top of this class, and he is the reason we are here right now. He's the reason we're all alive to debate this. He created the Haber method, which synthesized ammonia from nitrogen in the atmosphere. Now before, he mainly worked in the 1900s, early 1900s, before then farmers had to, you know, mainly use manure. And so this was very inefficient, there weren't that many, they produced smaller yields with more work. The Haber method made it, made creating fertilizer easier, safer, and ultimately what led to the population booms that, well that's basically the reason why we're here. Nice. He was a patriotic, he was very patriotic German. During the First World War, he joined the German army and he, you know, he called it the War of the Chemists and a quote by him says, during a time of war, a scientist belongs to his country. In peace, he belongs to the world. And so this is also true with, you know, Albert Einstein, Robert Oppenheimer. They were part of the Manhattan Project. So he supervised the development of chemical weapons and their countermeasures during the war. And he, he wanted to lead from the front when these weapons were deployed. So that puts him up there with the ranks of, well, and, and at least leading from the front with George Patton, George Washington, all these famous leaders. And he, he was just doing what he did for his country. If you know Germany had won the First World War, he would be a hero. And he should be recognized as a hero by all of us because he's the reason why we're here. Nice. He was he was opposed to National Socialism. He won a Nobel Prize in Chemistry, and he he saved more people than anyone's killed. That is time. Than anyone killed. Ever. Now comes the time. Now comes the time where you can you can ask each other questions or make statements of fact, and the other person is allowed to make response to that. So, since Dalton started the presentation, I'm going to have Haber start the uh, the counter the counter investigation. So, Fritz Haber, you have the first or you have the first uh, chance to ask for uh, Dalton a question. The floor is yours. Go. You know something about gas diffusion? John Dalton worked on it. It's about how gases kind of work over terrain and over liquids. So he lit, and so that was a very main point in what Haber did in development of chemical weapons. So, you know, I'm actually thanking you because without you, he never could have developed the chemical weapons. So thank you. <laughs> cool. And uh, that's my first question. <laughs> response? Do you have a response or would you like to? All right, you may, you I may ask a question or make a point about your opponents to, to put them in a bad light. Go ahead. Okay, so I get that, you know, during the war of t 
time of war, you you work for your country and stuff. You want your country to win, but to watch innocent people die slowly, I believe Hobart did ask the high generals to be on the battlefield to watch American and English soldiers die slowly by the gas he created. Noise. <laughs> Response, Hobart. So. First off, your facts are wrong, because by the, the first time gas was deployed, American troops weren't even in the conflict. <laughs> and also, he wanted to lead from the front. He wanted to make sure that if that his work went off successfully, and is that, he wanted to just make sure it played out successfully. And is that any problem with anyone wanting to lead from the front? He could have just sat back in his office and been like, yeah, gas him. <laughs> he, wanted, he wanted to be out there, and if, you know, if it hadn't worked, he probably would have knowingly taking the fall for it. He was an honorable man. So I took a method. All right. Um, Hopper, you have nothing to add to, about Dalton? So I was kind of digging around the dark corners of the internet. Don't go there, by the way. <laughs> so um, I found some newspaper articles back when. Not Huffington Post. Not the bombshell you found there. But um, what do you have to say about the rumors of Dalton's homosexuality? Oh. Ew. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> response, John Dalton. Uh. <laughs> no response? Did not find that in your research? No answer. Dalton, you want to add anything else about Fritz Haber? Any questions or? Okay, so um, I was researching and uh, I found out that Fritz Haber first wanted, to, he created the Haber method first only for Germany. He wanted Germany to be the only one to use the method. The yeah. so <laughs> answer? Well, when Albert Einstein, Samuel Cole, Robert Oppenheimer, James Browning, when they all made what they made, they wanted the United States to be the only one to have it, and so they gave us great stuff. And so, what what's the problem with having great stuff? Nice. You're up. And let, let's just reiterate this point here. You're alive here. Because of what he did. Actually, my guy was in the No, no. You. Woo! You. No, we don't know that, though. <laughs> Anything left? <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> Any? All right, thank you so very much. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>